Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So I'm just uh, ripping apart all of the ends, you know, of your 12 by 12, um, and some, what do they call them, pull aparts, cut aparts? I don't know, whatever they are. <laughs> I'm just speeding it up because it's too boring to watch and it takes too long. Um, so I'm just stripping them all apart and I'm going to show you what you can do with them. All right, let's uh, see what I'm up to here. As you can see, I've got lots of strips, so I'm just going to select a couple to put together. Apparently, you're not supposed to think about it. You just grab a couple of them and glue them together. Let's uh, see. So some of these um, strips that are at the bottom of um, a package, um, there's wording on both sides, so you can cut those down and just use the middle part. So I decided that I would go ahead and make these uh, strips and I was just deciding on how I was going to have it laid out. I think I have more trouble putting things together this way. But it's good practice for me because um, I don't always know what the heck I'm doing and I just want to try things. So I'm speeding this up again because it's a matter of choosing a bunch of different pieces that you want to uh, embellish and I have such a hard time. Sorry, I was yawning. I have such a hard time and I think it's because I have too many and um, I, I don't know which ones to choose so I'm trying to grab a few here and just come up with something. And you're going to see me go through this over and over again. Right now, what I decided to do was to cut them down uh, because I'm never going to use 12-inch uh, strips. So I think I've cut them in half, basically. Just cut them down to 6 inches. And I'm now just cutting the ends of it, making a little flag out of it. Just adds a little more interest. Now I'm going to glue them together. Once you get started on these, they're, you know, it's a lot of fun to use them up. It's, it's sort of the same thing when you're doing, um, patchwork kind of stuff. Um, and then you use them once they're dry, you use them to, with your die cuts to cut them, or dies to cut them out and have really cool, cool little um, pieces that you can use. So I'm still learning about layering. I'm still learning about how to put things together. And I, I wanted to use that yellow heart, but I found it was like too yellow too. So I got out my distress ink and darkened it and then I added another heart on top. Um, both of those pieces I used a piece of um, the foam tape to raise them up to give some interest to it. So it turned out pretty good. Now I decided that I'm going to add some little pearl, flat back pearls. And then I was wondering if I should use something else. So <laughs> I'm looking at my Nouveau drops. I forget what they're called. Uh, they're Nouveau drops. <laughs> Pearl drops, I guess. I don't know. And I was going to use the black one and it wasn't working. It wasn't working and I was getting... Because I haven't used them in a long time. So I'm trying to get it going here. <laughs> getting a little frustrated with it. And of course, if you haven't used them in a long time, 
there's kind of a technique so that they don't get pointy or whatever and that they lay flat but I still haven't mastered that because I don't use them often enough but I just wanted to see what it would look like to put it on here just to add a little interest to it I wasn't really pleased with it so now I'm going to again Cutting them down to about a six, six inch size. And I may or may not keep those other little pieces that have wording on it because I can always use that on something. <laughs> we can always use something on something. Once you get started on it, the, these first two were a little bit difficult, but once you get started on them, they're actually not, not too bad. <laughs> It's to get going. These are my first ones, so they're not going to turn out as good as, you know, some of you experts out there. But it's a good way of using up your pieces and embellishing and using the foam or pop, pop dots or foam tape or whatever to um, give it dimension. I'm having trouble with this one because I can't, couldn't decide. Finally, finally decided what I wanted to use. Oh, it's such a process for me. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to show you how you can use them. Again, I'm going to embellish them with a little bit of... Um, flat back gems I think I wanted to use my Nouveau drops on this again so the white one was running a little bit better than the other one so that was what I was up to and those are the two that I made so you know you can try this I'm sure you're better at it than I am but um, so they were suggesting you could use it for toppers. So I thought, well, I'll just show you kind of what you could do. And you could cut them down. They don't have to be that long. But I think it's kind of a cool idea. Especially if you're going to do a happy mail and you want to send it off and you want it to look nice. and So you can just... Decorate them any way you like. Anyway, guys, that was my little project for today, using up some scraps. I thought you would enjoy this little uh, experiment of mine. <laughs> Just because I'm doing this in the daytime while mom's watching TV, I kind of put little things in there like, you can cut this. <laughs> Because I know there's no sound until I voice over. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little scrapbooking. Not scrapbooking. Using your scraps. I'm just showing you now you could use it on a card. If you're making a card, you could use it on a card. Or if you're using it, making those uh, junk journals or whatever, you could use it as a... Uh, kind of a uh, slide pocket there. I forget what you call it. <laughs> it's late at night and I'm doing this late at night. Anyway, thanks for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.